for the first time in a long time, I don't have anything to talk about before I go out. <laughs> it's just nothing. So, oh, minus 11 today. Oh. Uh, I have one more. Um, with the Weather Network, they did the towel toboggan, frozen towel. That was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to have another one at the end of this video. Kind of similar. Uh, a little more humorous, I guess, but <laughs> I liked it. So I'll show that at the end of this video. Uh, I am recording this before my interesting pictures video come out, so I don't know what the comments are on that yet. But I got a few more things that I can do uh, as, as far as... You know, some of it is stuff I've created using pictures. Uh, I have another one I, I, I plan to do that would be uh, my favorite. What I did was from 2005 up to 2011. 2011 is as far as I got and it's not totally complete. But basically I went to all my pictures and every day, actually uh, every group, anytime I, anytime I go out and do a photo shoot, it's a group and some days there was more than one so there's more than one group per day so what i did was i picked my favorite <coughs> excuse me my favorite picture out of each group and put them together and then i picked a favorite for that day and then favorite for that month and then a favorite for that year and i did that like i say up to 2011 and i have one picture that it's kind of ongoing for my favorite all-time picture. <laughs> it hasn't changed since that was that one was selected, so I can probably show some of those. I'll probably do one video per year or something. Like one year would be in each video. It would be a really really long video if I just kind of you know did them all in one. So I get that. Um, uh, like I said, the creation thing. I think there was something else I was thinking of doing. Uh, this is all just, you know, and, until I get started on my story of how I became a photographer. It's still going to take a little while. But there's a few things I can do up until then. Uh, forget what it's going to say now. I don't remember. But there's one more thing I can do. I'll have to go searching. Uh, hopefully it's not... It's all on disk, so hopefully it's not buried too deep. I want to see if I can find them. And that is my Walmart tag collection. <laughs> <laughs> the advantage of working at Walmart. Uh, at night stocking the shelves, I get to see all the tags. And some of them are, are pretty humorous. I'd like to share that one if I can find it. But that'll take some searching, I'm sure, because that's not in my computer. At least I don't think it is. But I'll do a quick search and uh, see what happens. So, I have today I gotta go pharmacy, post office box, value mart, and Timmy's. Uh, so, Michelle wants me to do shopping for her, but it's the same place, so. I don't have to make an extra stop for that. And she wants me to bring her home a Timmy's. So, Zach's at work, and it's just Ken. So, uh, I won't be able to hold my copy. Because if I have an extra, I have nowhere to put it. I have to have at least two. So I can set it on the floor of the scooter, and they'll stand up on their own. So, because it's just the three of us today, I'll probably buy Ken one as well. And then I'll have... I'll be able to hold my coffee, <laughs> drink my coffee, and those two will be sitting on the floor. So That's my guess. And I'll see what happens when I get out there, but I'm pretty sure I'll do that. I guess that's it. Let's go for a tour in the cold.
Well, apparently now I have something to talk about. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see this. There's no clouds in the sky, but... I can move this so the sun's not shining. I don't know if you can see that. Little tiny snowflakes. And it's almost like frost falling from the sky. But, oh, I'm actually kind of chilled. It's sitting around doing nothing. Um, I uh, was inside Value Mart and the fire department got called for an odor of propane in the building. It was pretty strong. I was sitting across the street and I could actually smell it. So I, my Timmy's drinks decided to bring them home before they got too cold. And then I went back, sat a little farther away. <laughs> I was sitting there with a smoke in my hand and I start smelling propane. I'm thinking this might not be a good place to sit. So kind of adjusted my my uh, position a couple times. So probably play this call simply because I got it on video uh, with one camera anyways uh, this one's going now uh, second time I sat there I got thinking I don't remember turning my camera on so I went and checked and sure enough it wasn't on so good thing I run two cameras <laughs> so it was on from that point and the other thing, one thing that surprises me, is the flash pattern is still on the one that I set when I left. So, I'm impressed by that. So I guess I got nothing else. Um, I think I just, just, just shivering here. So I should ought to take my stuff in the house. Uh, everything's probably frozen now. Most of it's okay, but there's eggs in there and they might be frozen. And it's pretty chilly. And my toes are actually cold today. Just, just from sitting there doing nothing. I think, because I'm not moving my muscles around, I'm not generating any heat, so. Yeah. So I guess that's it. That's all I got for today. Uh, go and get warmed up and start working on another video. North here on Wingham Fire. Please respond to the area of Bell's Pizza at 176 Josephine Street. Uh, request by car two was notified by a tenant of the possible smell of propane in the area. Uh, request engine one respond. Again, that's 176 Josephine Street, the area of Bell's Pizza for a possible smell of propane in the area. Uh, third hand info time is 1503.
Houston, North Huron, Blythe Fire. This is an information page only. Williams responding to the possible smell of propane in the area of Bell's Pizza, 176 Josephine Street. This is an information page only for Blythe Station at 1504. Dispatch North here in car two. Go ahead, car two. Danger to watch for fly, then you can show car two responding as well. Roger, car two, you're acknowledging page and responding. Time is 15.05. Dispatch North here in car 2 on scene. Roger, car 2, you're on scene at 1507. Fire dispatch North here on engine 1. One. You can show engine one responding to the area of Bell's Pizza, Delta plus five Belton. Roger, engine one, you're responding Delta plus five Belton, time is 1507. Fire dispatch, you can show North Huron engine one on scene, Delta be command, command will be mobile. Roger, engine one, you're on scene, Delta in command and mobile at 1509. <laughs> Dispatch North Huron, command. Go ahead, command. You can show command transferred from Delta to Car 2. Roger, command transferred from Delta to Car 2 at 1510. Fire dispatch, North here in command. Go ahead, command. Dispatch, we do have a strong odor inside the building uh, at this address. 
Uh, it is quite a large apartment building. I'm going to request ladder to respond as well, just for the manpower. I think we're going to have to evacuate it all. That's Roger. I'll uh, page out ladder two to respond as well. Command Alpha. Go ahead, Alpha Command. 
I can confirm that the ovens are propane and they are both off now currently. Roger that, thank you. Entry team one, command. Go ahead, command, entry one. Yeah, could I get an update on your location and what you're reading? Make sure you're right here at the door if you want to face the face. Bravo command. I'm at the station. Do you need any more manpower? Uh, just stand by at the station for now, Bravo. Roger, Sparling has called back with an ETA. It'll be about 15 minutes. Again, 15 minute ETA for Sparling. Yeah, Roger that. Thank you. You can mark, uh, we have EMS to get here and OBT have arrived on scene as well. Roger, EMS and OPP on scene. It's 1526. Come in, call Charlie. Go ahead, Charlie Command. Yeah, there's a the utility room up here on the first floor. Um, it's coded. Nobody seems to know the code. Would there be a landlord down there or somebody that would know the code to get us into the door? Yeah, Roger. Stand by for that. I want you to evacuate this whole building until we know what's going on, okay? Hey, Roger that. Go ahead, entry command. You two entry one is exited structure, Bravo 5, par 3. Roger that, exit structure.
Delta Command, do you want to come to the front of the building with the meter? Delta Command. Go ahead, Command Delta. Delta, I've uh, entered the structure. I'm on the phone with the property owner, trying to gain access to a locked panel. Roger that, Command. Alpha Command. Go ahead, Command Alpha. Yeah, I need you on the residential side on the first floor. Roger that. You can show entry one entering the structure, Bravo side, par three.
Come here and call Charlie. Go ahead, Charlie, come in. Yeah, we have all the residents evacuated. Roger that, thank you. Fire dispatch, North here on command. Go ahead, dispatch, command. Just an update, Sparling's propane call back saying they're on route and they won't be long at all, uh, likely a few minutes. Roger, thank you. You can also mark we have the entire building evacuated. Roger that, I copied. The whole building's been evacuated. Alpha. Go ahead, Alpha Command. Landlord does not have the code for the laundry room on that second floor. No entry game. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, can you meet up with? Never mind.
Fire dispatch, short turn command. Go ahead, command. Dispatch, we've completed a air quality check of the whole structure. Uh, we do have zero readings, and the strong smell of propane has dissipated. We're just going to wait for Sparlings to arrive. That's Roger. Uh, you've done a complete air quality check with zero readings. The strong smell has dissipated. You're awaiting Sparlings at 1558. Fire dispatch, North Union Command. North Union Command, go ahead. Dispatch, I just released OPP and EMS. Uh, however, I do need EMS to re-attend the scene. I do have one person complaining of a headache. Larger that OPP and EMS were released, uh, you need EMS to return as there's a patient with a headache. 1602. Fire dispatch, North Huron Command. North Huron Command, go ahead. Dispatch, you can mark uh, Sparling's propane on scene, as well as EMS is on scene. Roger, Sparling and EMS on scene. It's 1612. Fire dispatch, North Huron Command. North Huron Command, go ahead. We're going to leave the scene with Spartan's propane. Command's terminated. Roger, you're leaving the scene with Spartan. Command is terminated at 1615. Fire dispatch, you can show ladder 2. Clear the scene, return to Wingham Station. Fire dispatch, engine one clear and returning to Wingham Station. Roger, engine one, you're clearing and returning to station at 
Sorry, we're flat north here in command. Go ahead, command. A patient has been loaded in to the ambulance and on route to Wingham Hospital. That's Roger. Patient's loaded in ambulance on route to Wingham Hospital, 1625. Archie's clear the scene, returning to wing. Roger, Archie, you're clear of scene and returning to wing at 16. 